Hello everyone, <laughs> it's me again, Teacher Roxanne, and for today's video, I'm going to share with you the steps and requirements in applying for an OHIP. So if you are interested, please hit, keep on watching. So let's start. <laughs> so let's know what's the meaning of OHIP. So OHIP means Ontario Health Insurance Plan. So this health plan is only offered to those living here in Ontario. So if you are outside, I'm sorry, you're not eligible to apply for this health plan. Okay. So first, let's talk who qualifies. So sino ba yung mga pwedeng mag-apply nito? So those Canadian citizens that are here in Ontario, those permanent residents who are here in Ontario and those who holds a valid work permit. So, dito na papasok yung mga dependents natin as a students, the, the open work permit holders. So, sila yung pwedeng mag-apply ng OHIP tapos tayo with our children are their dependents. So, as the student, so, uh, ako student ako, pwede ba akong mag-apply? No. Sorry, you're not eligible to apply for an OHIP. Okay? Kapag wala naman kayong dependent na OWP, hindi po kayo pwede mag-apply. Kasi ang nire-require lang ay holds a valid work permit. So, hindi work permit ang hawak natin. It's student permit. So, hindi tayo, hindi pwede mag-apply ang student. Okay. So, Next ay the requirements. Ano, may, ano, ano yung mga requirements na pinasa namin nung nag-apply kami ng OHIP? So, the passports. So, both. So, hindi siya pwede, um, hindi siya pwede photocopy. Pag i-photocopy nyo man, you need to have the uh, passport. Physical passport. Kasi titignan nila yung original. And also the permits. The original also. Hindi nila kukunin. Don't worry. They just wanna see it. If it's, you know, it's original. So, both the work permit and the student permit. And, um, certificate of employment for the OWP. So, dapat sa COE nakalagay doon the month, the date, and the year where they started working. And then, nakalagay dapat doon sa COE um, full-time permanent. Okay? Kasi kapag hindi nila makita yung full-time permanent to, uh, position, papakuhaanin kayo ulit. Okay? Kasi ganun yung nangyari sa amin. Kasi dati walang nakalagay. May nakalagay doon na full-time, pero wala, hindi nila makita yung word na permanent. Pinakuha ulit kami. So, make sure your COE has those word. Permanent, full-time. Okay, next is the proof of residency. So, dapat ma-prove nyo na you are living here in Ontario para... Uh, um, ma-qualify kayo to apply. So, ano ba, ano, ano yung mga pwede nyo ipakita? Your phone bill. Yung plan nyo ng bill. That address, the same address with your, um, proof of identity. So, your SIN naman yon. SIN. You need to bring your SIN kasi nakalagay doon yung address. So, yung address nyo dun sa SIN should be the same dun sa address ng proof of residency ninyo. Can be your driver's license or yung mga yung mga binibigay sa atin na monthly um, monthly line of credit natin sa mga banks natin. So, that can also be um, used as proof of residency. So, yun lang. Okay? Kapag meron na kayo lahat ng yan, you can have or you can now apply for an OHIP. So, First, pupunta kayo sa website nila to make an appointment. So, pwede naman na wala kayong appointment. Pero, kasi matagal, pipila pa kayo dun. Um, not, unle uh, not compare if you have an appointment. Iti-check lang nila yung pangalan nyo dun sa list. Kapag meron kayong appointment, then papapasukin na kayo sa loob. So, you can have two options. Have appointment or just walk in. Okay, so it's either of the two. And that's all for OHIP applications. If you have questions, you can comment down below. And any other questions that
that are not um, related to our hip application you can also comment down below i try my best to reply to all of you and also i'll try my best to upload um videos more videos regarding our application as an international student here in canada and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like and share <laughs> okay thank you for watching and i'll see you again on my next video